ripping it open. I don't need your knife. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, they hit, but they <laughs> Calm down. Okay. My client started getting these blue apron boxes as a gift for a month. And I thought, let me go on blueapron.com and see what this is all about. So I did, and then I just didn't really do anything with it, but I did start getting coupons from them in email, and I got this coupon that said you get $50 off your first two weeks. So we decided to try it. So if you're new here, I'm Tia Pearl, WCMX. I'm all about WCMX, sustainability, accessibility, and living a healthy lifestyle. Just gonna give us some healthy food in here. Any of that interests you, hit the subscribe Aiden's button right now. trying to get now. in the shot, but he can. <laughs> we got a family blue apron session going on right now. Let's all right. Do it. All right, well, let's see what's inside. Refrigerated, a refrigerated box. I always thought about keeping these. Like, they're kind of cool, because it's like a fridge bag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna help cook? Yes. You are? Yes. All right, so what are we cooking today? You said the shrimp? I don't know I didn't. I just, yeah, you're just, I was just speaking out of my butt. What would, what do you guys think we should eat today? This. We're gonna cook this amazing meal. Honey, it's three different meals. One. Let's see what, see which one we can make first. Everyone, take a vote. Okay, mom voted for one already. Which one are you gonna vote for? This one, I'm guessing. No, no, don't guess said... which one mom voted for. You vote for which one you want. That one. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Should we just put them behind our back and just pick one? Okay. Okay, so you mix them up and then you just pull one out. Because we both voted. Okay, I literally have no idea which is which. <laughs> but I, I feel like I need to mix them up more because I'm just scared that I do know. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? That's the winner. Where'd, where'd the other ones go? It's right here on the table. <laughs> hey, hang on a second. Let me see that. Let me see that. It's gonna be good. Hmm. Ooh. That was fair. We did a fair vote. Fair family mm. vote. Otherwise, you're sleeping on this pillow tonight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a pillow. Okay. Ah! It's not even cold anymore. So now we have to sort out these meals. Okay. Oh, uh, one second. Oh, I'm guessing. What? Oh, it says scallion. Yeah, they both. Two. Okay, they both. Well, we need another one. Another one. Do you need? Yeah. Okay, then they give you like a bag. They call it knickknacks, and then it'll say which one for. So this one's for the crispy chicken. Tomatoes. Garlic, we'll probably go for all of them because they probably all have a little bit of garlic. And only one that, they do give you a whole, well, they only get a couple pieces. Here's a corn. Oh, this one. Cocktail tomatoes, huh? Uh, this one. Here's another knickknack bag. Which one is it? The Cajun shrimp and corn. You can put it right there. Anything else? Oh yeah, here's a lime. And then underneath all the vegetables, you find your your mm -hmm. meat proteins here. It's so easy. It's almost too easy. You're right. Exactly. It's so easy. Okay, so hang on. We're not cutting the line. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, okay, so first we're gonna zest, no, we're not cutting the line, like I said. We need to get the zester, 
Uh, you can zest it. I'm not really good at it. I agree. White bottoms and green tops, so you don't want to mix them up because you're gonna you're gonna do different things with both of them. Use the knife, honey. Poke a hole. So the only thing that I think might have sugar in it is this. Mm -hmm. So you could put after. which. Um, yeah, it's like it's supposed to go on the beef after you you put the beef with salt, pepper, and the spice blend, and then you put that on like when you add the scallions and cook it for like two minutes. So maybe we can just take a little bit of the beef out. Honey, literally we need all of this to be cut. We need this, like we need to just cut off just the tips and then cut this up so we can use it. He was just separating, I think. Oh, okay. Well, that was a great job then because I never would have thought of that. I would have just Good job, sweetheart. Thanks for helping. I'm still helping you. I know you are. I'm saying She's saying out. thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Mm. It even says, like, they give you this sliced pickled jalapeno, which I'm scared of because I don't know if there's sugar in the brine. But um, it says, roughly chop, thoroughly wash your hands immediately after handling, like, People don't know that this will literally burn your skin for hours yeah. or days. <laughs> Wash up. Mm, it smells good. Those are giant tomatoes. So I can't... You need to cut it as thin and, s and small as you can. I can. I, I mean, I have well, you to... You have to try, sweetheart. <laughs> but you're holding... You're holding them like really weird and you don't even have enough room because you've got to put the zucchini somewhere. You should move the zucchini. No, no, you should get a bowl or something. Okay, well, how okay. about you cut these? Because these are just like so hard. Mm -hmm. You just sure. have to cut them straight down. Whoa, that's not how you hand a knife to somebody. Sorry. How do you hand a knife? Nice. We talked about that one. All right, okay, so, um, are you sure you don't want to zest the lime? Mm, I'm just not very good at it. Sure you are. I'd rather, well, okay, I'll try. Okay, awesome. I'm so excited. I gotta get bored. I love when you say you'll try. First. So put all this in the Good job. Okay, so cook and finish the vegetables. It says, while the rice cooks, add two tables, two teaspoons of olive oil to a pan. Okay. Heat on medium high. What? You know, but it was like we were already too late for last week. Mm -hmm. and now it's, it's almost like too easy to like do. I know, it's like all pretty in your pan. Let's see how nicely they toss over each other and get all oily. Ooh, girl. Where's your blue apron? Okay, so now here what I'm going to do is, I don't have a blue apron and you know, that's rude. I'm going to put these gloves on. For the meat. I don't like to touch meat. I feel that. You can have meat touch it, but whatever. Stir three to four, to four minutes. Or into two minutes or until browned. But it looks, but it looks light brown now. Yeah, but there's more to this one. No, like, who flavored it with all the spices? Blue apron. 
Oh, like the spices that came with it. Blue Apron. Blue Apron did it. Blue Apron. <laughs> Every package says Blue Apron because they're the yeah, ones. Yeah, but who? But who seasoned it? Like who blue, seasoned the beef? Blue Apron. No, like who seasoned it? Like you already who said put that. all the stuff on it? Blue Apron. Mom, Mom technically. Well, I put it on, but I didn't measure oh, anything. It's okay. So you. No, but which one sure you do? Mm -mm. So I can't take credit for it. Alright guys, so we just finished up our first Blue Apron meal and we liked it. We all liked it, all Loved three of it. us. Yeah, it was really good. I've kind of made jokes about it for a while now, about like how it's just so easy to buy your ingredients at the store and blah blah blah. So for those that I've made jokes to, like it is convenient, it is good. They do give you ingredients that you don't get when you're searching yourself. And you guys have anything else to say? Um, no, you said it all. It's really good. I, I, I mean, won't make fun of it it's anymore. Just, <laughs> it's just so good. I'm finishing it off right now. Woo, delish. Take what was your favorite bowl. part of the meal? The beef. The beef? beef. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, the beef, like, with the jalapenos was, like, really good. I just yeah. liked it as, like, a cohesive meal with the veggies and the rice and the beef. Like, it was really, really good. Really tasty. Really good spices on the beef. Like, yeah. they... They, it's not generic. Dude, it's like, it's, it's not really good. good. It's like, it's great. not even the Cormac. Like, yeah. it's so good. Yeah, it's really good. I great. probably use like this. It's so good the cat won't spicy, stop licking. <laughs> the, the spicy seasoning. Mm. Yes. With so, sort of salt and pepper, and then just. Well, I put the salt and pepper on it. So if you guys have the chance, try out Blue Apron or their some Yeah, other you brand. don't even on their website, you can get, like, they'll email you deals for it. Because that's what happened with me. Mm -hmm. I was just checking it out, and then I started getting all these emails. $30 off your first two boxes, then it went to 50 and I said, we got to try this. Yeah, no brand deal, but it was amazing. Totally worth it. We'll probably keep doing it in the future. Mm -hmm. Fit it in the budget, do that for a couple or a few meals a week. And thank you to my honey for finding it. Hope you well, guys thank enjoyed. you to my clients for <laughs> it and recommending it. Yes. You good, buddy? Yeah. He's just getting the sauce for his rice. Nice. All right. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And remember what I say, guys. Stay positive. Keep rolling. Remember that I love you. And I'll see, see you guys, guys next time. Peace.